somebody sent this to me and was like, is this you in the app store? I'm like, ah. Made by Tamari made 16 sales within the month of June. Another one about my ex. Hi everyone, welcome back to my channel. In today's video, I will be reading the little notes in this jar. This is my wins of 2023. So for the year of 2023, every time that I had like an achievement, whether it was big or small, I wrote it down on a piece of paper with the date on it and I folded it up and put it in a jar. So there's a lot of stuff in here. Some of this stuff, I don't even think I'll be able to read on camera just because, yeah. I'm not gonna hold back too much because I really wanna be open and vulnerable with the things that go on in my life. Make sure you give this video a like and subscribe to my channel for more videos. I'm posting videos every single Saturday. You know you wanna see them, so just go ahead and subscribe. Right. Anyways, let's get into the jar. There's also coins in it. That's why I keep rattling around like that. And they're gonna be out of order because I put the dates on them and obviously they're all mixed up. So they're gonna be out of order, but I'm still gonna talk about them because I remember them. And I'm also gonna put like pictures on the screens and like little things, little memories and stuff. Cute little video, right? All right, first card. Oh, okay. So this one happened on May 5th, so Cinco de Mayo. And it says, I was shown that I was put in the app store for Tammy or Tammy. I really don't know how to say it, even though I worked with the brand so, so much. I don't know how to, I don't know how to say it. But yeah, they put me in the app store. I'm going to put the picture on the screen. Somebody sent this to me. It was like, is this you in the app store? I'm like, ah. they paid me for it, by the way. Everybody was like, they better have paid you for that. They did. Don't worry. Don't worry. But I really didn't know I was going in the app store. I thought I was just going like on the Instagram page or something. But hey, I was surprised too. Next paper. Ooh. Okay, we can't read this one. <laughs> Not that I'm trying to hide stuff. It's just like legally. <laughs> Legally speaking, I'ma just not talk about some stuff at the moment. Y'all gonna hear all the stories at some point in my life, just not right now. All right, all right. We got the next paper. This happened on November 8th, so towards the end of the year. It says, I was voted print of the meeting in Patriot Paws. A print is a puppy raiser in training, which if you saw my first day of classes video, that's the dog that I am raising in training. So last year I was in the training process of like learning how to train the dog and how to raise the dog, etc. And in one of the general meetings, I got voted print of the meeting. <sighs> I was so shocked. I, w I never expected to get it for real. I don't ever be expecting nothing because sometimes I, f I forget that I'm not invisible. Like, I don't even know if that makes sense. Yeah, I got print of the meeting and it was so cute. I got a little sticker. I'll put a little picture on the thing because I was so excited. Next one. <laughs> so on January 11th, I asked my ex to be my girlfriend. On, it was 1.11 at 1.11 p.m. Like I asked her at 1.11, it was so cute. And she said yes, clearly. Um, but as I just said, she is an ex. So we'll get into that later in the thing. But you know, love, love is love. Love is love. Next. <clears throat> okay, period. August 23rd, I got offered a deal with Locket, which is a app that you can like use to send pictures to your friends and stuff. I'm sure a lot of people have heard of Locket. Yeah, this is when I got my little collaboration with them, like the little first offer. And I did end up working with them for a few months, getting some money, so a win, period. Next up, okay, period. 
um july 21st so this was in the summer i finished my first big order for my crochet brand made by tamari follow me on instagram and tiktok if you don't already this big order was priced at 150 dollars total and i'll put the order on the screen and i was so proud of it i was so proud of everything that i made because it was like a lot of it was my original ideas things that i haven't made before and i was just really excited and happy with the way that everything turned out and the same day i made my first business cards and i actually have some over there so i'm gonna get them these are the cards this is actually one that like my sister made it's on this like i don't even know what it is it's something but yeah made by tamari yeah that's me um okay period um what month is this june yeah i get six and seven mixed up like i be thinking june is july but i don't be thinking that it's just like sometimes in my brain six registers as july but i know it's june but anyways this is another one about tammy or tammy don't know how to say it june 20th i got paid 400 dollars by tammy right i forgot what this was for but they be paying me some good money, some good money. I really like working with them. It was really the first brand that really paid me good money for the content I was making and actually like pushed the videos and like helped the videos do better. Like I really liked working with them. So yeah. Ooh. So this is really good news. Um, However, for legal reasons, again, I will not be reading <laughs> what is on this card but it was very good news very good news okay so this is the one about the the money that tammy gave me for putting me in like the ads and like the app store and stuff this is about that one so this was on february 17th i got my highest paying offer from social media at 500 dollars period from tammy and it was just for using my pictures and my TikToks in their ads. So I got money and I didn't even have to make content specifically for them. They just used my previous content that I already had on my page. And they paid me the most amount of money that I've ever been paid from another brand. So, oh, this one is so cute. This was May 7th slash 8th. I got two big orders for my crochet business and I got my first custom order. This is so cute because now I've made like, I don't even know how many custom orders that I've made, but I got my first one in May. That was like, what? That was eight months ago, only eight months ago. And I've already made so many custom orders and you know so much stuff and i can't wait to make even more stuff you know i'm so excited and another video that's upcoming is uh everything that i crocheted in 2023 because all of it is in my closet over there period june of 2023 during pride month i made a whole bunch of crochet pride tops with different flag colors and things like that and Made by Tamari made 16 sales within the month of June, which is equal to over $200 in the month of June for my business that I literally just started like last year. So I didn't use a pattern or anything for the top. I just made it based off of something that I wanted and people liked it and I was so happy with it. And yeah, <sighs> well, another one about my ex. January 8th, I put in here that we said I love you to each other, which is funny because if you were paying attention in the beginning, we started dating on the 11th. We said I love you on the 8th. It's really les that's lesbian stuff, okay? Like, <laughs> but I meant it. I'm sure she meant it. So, anyways, next. This one is about the dog from the first day of classes video. November 27th, I finished all of my requirements to be a puppy raiser. There was so much, oh my gosh. Like, 
I had to go to, to like nine training classes, three meetings, attend profit shares and socials and all of this types of stuff. And I've never been in an organization like this before. There was times where I was scared that I wasn't gonna get all the requirements done, that I wouldn't be able to get a dog this semester. But look at God, look at God, because I got all of them done, period. And I got a dog, period. And look at him and us, period. We just so cute, like. Look at God, look at God. Um, okay, well, here's where it gets good, guys. <laughs> um, November 13th, I chose myself. This is what it says, literally. I chose myself and removed myself from a relationship that wasn't fulfilling to me. AKA, I broke up with my ex. Now, when it comes to breakups and stuff, obviously it's hard. You're losing someone that you loved, that you really cared for, that you saw in your future, and you're just realizing that it's not, it's just not gonna work out how you like wanted it to, I guess. Um, so it can be really hard at first, and it was really hard. It always is really hard, but the reason why I put it in here as a win is because even though it's sad, even though it's hard, I, every breakup that I've been through, I've kind of seen it as a win because every single time it's, it's because I've decided that I'm not at peace and that it's bringing me more anxiety than it is like happiness. And so it's more so allowing myself to like get out of those situations that I know aren't serving me or that I know that I'm not growing in. So, you can see me playing with my fingers yeah a little huh. um yeah now i could get on here and talk about my ex i say this that in the third and act like act like we weren't in love for like a whole year you know what i'm saying but i'm not the kind of person i did love her and we're just not together anymore and that's just that's just that you know obviously I was sad about it at first but now I have clarity now I see that it's things happen the way that they're supposed to happen and if it's meant for you it'll come back at this point I'm over it it's been two months since the official breakup but like since I don't know I'm not even gonna get into the specifics of it but it's been enough time to where I you know I realize it's for the best always is for the best everything that happens is for the best even if it's sad even if it's hard even if it's it's for the best learn from it and grow from it and take from it whatever you need to take from it and yeah next another one about my ex another one april 29th is when i saw her for the second time and that's all I'm gonna read from that one because I don't care to read the rest. Next. Another one. Another one about my <laughs> I thought I was done with these, honestly and truly. That's why I read the breakup one. I didn't know there was, okay. I really only have one left. I'll hold this one's not about her too. <laughs> February 11th, first time we met. First time in person. Yeah, cute. Um. It's not about her, thank the Lord. All right, this is the last one we have and it's about school. May 4th, my chemistry exam grade was changed from an 82 to a 92. We got a 10 point curve, period. This is my first A on an exam in organic chemistry. Now, if you have ever taken organic chemistry, if, even if you've taken regular chemistry, you know how hard and confusing chemistry can be. Now, organic chemistry is a whole nother level, a whole nother level. So me getting an A on an exam in organic chemistry was enough to constitute being put in the win jar. And it was. But yeah, the jar is empty. And I think I'm gonna make another one for this year even though it's like almost end of January and I, have, I haven't, but I can still put some stuff in here, yeah, yeah. But I really love doing this because it helps me remember the things that happened in the past year, the things that I have to be grateful for, the achievements that I got that I don't even remember getting, but they were really big at a point in my life. And yeah, I just really love, I love that. 
yeah i'm definitely gonna make another one so that i can make another video like this hopefully like at the beginning of next year at the end of this year but yeah thank y'all so much for watching this video i love y'all so much so much i look so cute what is that make sure to give this video a like if you like this video subscribe to my channel for more videos like i said i will be posting videos every single saturday so make sure you stay tuned for those i literally already have them planned up and i'll be filming and editing and and doing all of this stuff because i love talking to y'all but anyways thank y'all so much for watching i'll see y'all in the next one bye